All right, guys. This is gonna be a fucking badass video. At least I hope so. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the color of your Safari's progress bar. Now I think that's what it's called. If it's not, if that's not what it's. Really... <sighs> Hold up. Let me say it calmly. If that's not what it's called, there we go. Let me just show you guys what it's called. I mean, what it's called. Fuck. I mean, what uh, how it looks like. This is it. That's what I'm talking about. The blue indicator in the URL box that shows you, you know, how far the web has loaded, the, the um, website has loaded. And it's always blue, no matter what. Like, look at that, blue. There's no option to change it to another color. No matter what, it's always going to be blue. But I want to show you guys a way to make it into any color you guys wanted it to be. So, let's get started. Alright. So what you're first gonna do is you're gonna go to Finder, then you're gonna go to your applications, and you're gonna find Safari, and you're gonna right click, and then click Show Package Contents, and you're gonna double click on Content, and then double click on Resources, and then well, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Well, not all the way, but all the way down, down, until you see this. Let me make it bigger for you guys. Until you see this, these files, these blue little files. Then in the end says, says progress. All of them say progress in the end. It's eight of these. It's eight files. It's this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, and this one. That These eight files are what makes the progress bar blue. And as you can see, they're blue. So your job is to change the color of these to any color you guys want. So what you're going to do is, well first let me get out of this. Is, uh, well, you guys should make a new folder in your desktop and call it Safari. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag these files into your Safari folder. Just like that. Alright, now you're going to minimize this resources um, window because you're going to need it later. And you're going to go in your Safari folder and you have the files again. Now again, you you need to change the color of these. So to change it to whatever color you guys want, you guys could use like Photoshop or any other you know program with that. But if you don't have none of that, you can just use preview. So this is how you do it. You double click on, on one of those um, blue um, picture files. And you're going to go on tools, adjust color. And from right here is where you can make it any color you guys want. So me, I'm just going to make it gray because I want it to be gray. But you guys can mess around and make any other color you guys want. And once you've done that, you have to go to file and put save as and this is important save it in your desktop or any other anywhere or anywhere else just not in this Safari folder because you don't want to replace it because you need to keep these because these are the original files you're going to need to keep in case you want to turn it blue again so save it to desktop and leave the name the same it has to be exactly the same but in the end you're going to put dot png and then save it in your desktop I suggest you save it in your desktop and there it is. That's one. Now that I, you, I've done this one right here, you need to do the rest, all these, to the same color. They all have to be the same color, or else I'm guessing your fucking progress bar gonna, is going to look all like rainbowish and shit. So they all have to be the same color. So I'm going to do it, and I'm going to send them all to my desktop, and when I do, I'll get back to you guys. Alright, I just finished. As you can see, I have them all right here on my desktop. I changed all these into gray. And now you can just close out of this, of the Safari folder, but keep it. Keep this because in case you want to change it back to blue, you need to keep this. But now that you, since you have all, all these gray or whatever color you guys um, chose to make it, you're gonna, well, you're gonna get started already. So. You're gonna go back to the resources folder, and now you're what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna you have to replace these these blue ones 
workflow with the new ones you made. So you're just gonna highlight them all and drag them here. And this little um, message is gonna come up and you're just gonna press this um, th th um, th 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 whatever, just press that but word. I don't even know, button, whatever, I don't even know how to say it. And you, another one is gonna pop up, it's gonna say, all this shit, just press replace, 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 replace. And then you're gonna press your pass. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have to put in your password. And just press OK. And there it is. You're done. And just arrange them now. I mean, I like everything organized. And now you can get out of that. And if you guys have Safari open, just quit it, and then reopen it. And there it is. As you can see, look at that. It is gray. So let me show you again. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one. Yes, there it is, great. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys like like this tutorial, and hope you guys subscribe. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I love you guys so much. Bye. Love you.